Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. An announcement by UFC President Dana White on Hamzat Shemaev's next fight announced here. Let's go. MMA flicks and chill. What's up, guys? Here with another announcement on Saturday. June 22nd, we'll be going to Saudi Arabia. Our first fight in the kingdom will be a fight night that will air live and free on ABC. And the main event will be former middleweight champion Robert Whitaker versus 13-0 undefeated Hamzat Chemaev to see who will be the number one contender for the UFC middleweight championship. The co-main event, the number three ranked knockout artist Sergei Pavlovich versus the number six ranked Alexander Volkov. Also, Kevin Gastelum will be taking on Daniel Rodriguez. We've got Johnny Walker versus Vulcan Ozdemir. Undefeated 12-0 Shara Bullet versus Eeyore Potiera, who has 15 of his 20 wins coming by first round finish. This card is gonna be badass from top to bottom. It's going to be historic. It's our first ever show from the kingdom. Big. Take a Excuse my voice. I got a bit of a head cold, bear with me. But this is a fight that we've been wanting to see. We've talked about it for a couple of years now and it's finally coming to fruition. God willing, nothing happens before then and now because it's two months away and you know how these things go, especially with the UFC and Hamzat. Hamzat could get COVID, he could, who knows, you know? Whitaker isn't known as much for backing out of fights. Hamza isn't either, but he has more of a reputation of something happening. You know, granted it's out of his control. It could be a green card, it could be getting a virus, you know. I just want it to happen. And it's so far away that a lot can happen. And I've been a fan of the UFC long enough to know that. So I am excited about the announcement. It's probably going to happen, and we're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. A free fight night. I'm pff, awesome. Yay. Finally don't have to pay for something I want to see. You know, most of the fight nights, I'm like, eh, I watch them. And you're probably going to be like, oh, you're a casual. But you know what? Like, I don't want to see everybody fight. There are certain skill levels I do want to see fight. And I'll tell you this, too. I probably have only missed maybe 20 UFC pay-per-views since UFC 1. I watched UFC 1 with my dad when I was a kid live. And I think we saw every one of them after that. The only time I missed some is when I joined the military. Obviously, I had other things to focus on other than the UFC, but I still loved it. And actually, one of the times I was in the Navy, on the ship, they played, they bought a pay-per-view. I think it was Chuck Liddell. Maybe. I can't remember. But that's cool. We get to see this for free. Granted, you have uh, ABC, but everybody should have ABC. Who else is on this card? Let's talk about it. Okay, I'll share this with you. This is right from ESPN.com. UFC will put on its first event in Saudi Arabia on June 22nd with a card headlined by a middleweight bout between Hamzat Shemaev and Robert Whitaker. Dana White, the promotion's president, announced Wednesday night. That was tonight. The UFC Fight Night card will air for free on ABC. Shemaev and Whitaker will fight to determine the number one contender for middleweight champion Drikas Duplessis, White said. Shemaev, 13-0, hasn't fought since he defeated former welterweight champion Kamara Usman at UFC 294 in October. I'm going to stop reading this every once in a while when I have a thought on it. I heard some other YouTubers claim that Kamara Usman was never that good. MMA Guru said that. And, you know, when his knees are bad, sure, whatever. But you know what? It's still Kamara Usman and... He's not diminished that bad, you know, like he arguably won that fight. I don't think he did, but a lot of people think thinks that he did point wise. I'm just looking at dominant like dominance. Now, MMA Guru did point out that Hamzat gas is pretty fast. 
and they're going into a five round fight. So that is a little bit concerning. I think Hamzat will get it done in the first round. I think he'll choke him out. I do. So we'll see what happened. What happens? Let's move on. He had pushed for a title bout with Duplessis at UFC 300 in April, but Duplessis injured both legs when he took the championship from Sean Strickland in their January UFC 297 fight. Duplessis told ESPN earlier this month that he is expecting to be ready by mid-2024. Whitaker, whose record is 26-7, and a former middleweight champ, is coming off a unanimous decision win over Paulo Costa in February. It was his first fight since a TKO loss to Duplessis in July 2023. White announced four other fights on the Saudi Arabia card. Sergey Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov. Kevin Gastelum versus Daniel Rodriguez. That is going to be a gnarly fight if Kelvin shows up. Daniel Rodriguez, last fight. Who, who did he fight last? Do you remember? Oh, interesting. Okay, interesting. So Daniel Rodriguez's last fight was with Ian Gary. I thought he had one before that. And then before that, and he lost. So he, Daniel Rodriguez, you know, he's lost his last two fights. He also lost to Neil Magny. Uh, the last time he won was against Lee Jing Liang. And then before that is Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee hasn't even been in the UFC since like 2021. So since 2021, Daniel Rodriguez has only fought four times well since he fought kevin lee in 2021 he's only fought four times he only fought once in 2022 and he's only fought once in 2023 and he lost both of those let's look at gastelum gastelum is coming off a loss to sean brady in december of 2023 and before that he won to chris curtis before that he lost to jared cannon before that he lost to robert whitaker before that he beat Ian Heinish, and then before that, he lost to Jack Hermanson, he lost to Darren Till, he lost to Israel Adesanya. So both of them are coming off some losses, and they've been very inactive. So, I don't know. Yay? I think Cap Kelvin Gastelum versus Israel Adesanya is one of the best fights I've ever seen. But since then, meh. Johnny Walker versus Volkan Ozdemir. And then the last one is Shara Magomedov versus Ihor Pateria. Who? I don't know who that is, but we're going to look him up. Johnny Walker is coming off a loss to Magomed Ankalov to a knockout TKO. And then before that, a no contest with the same person. You remember that? That was the knee to the face on the ground, which should have been a disqualification, don't you think? And then before that, Johnny Walker beat Anthony Smith. Before that, Johnny Walker beat Paul Craig. Before that, he beat um, Ion Kudalab, Kudalaba. Before that, he lost to Jamal Hill. Before that, he lost to Diego Santos. So, like, Johnny Walker is like a lose two in a row, win one, lose two in a row, win a couple, lose two in a row. So, let's see. Who's he fighting here? Volkan Ozdemir. Now, I know who that is, but I couldn't tell you anything about him. So, when we don't know who it is, we look it up. Volkan Ozdemir is 19-7. and seven, And his last fight was with Bogdan Guskov. And he submitted him in a rear naked choke. Before that, he fought someone named Nikila Krylov and lost to a decision. Before that, he won against Paul Craig, decision. Before that, he lost to Ankalov. Before that, he lost to Yuri Prochaska. Before that, he beat Alexander Rakic. Before that, he beat somebody. I'm, uh, oh, oh, Latifi. Okay. And then he ha has like three losses before that to Dominic Reyes, Anthony Smith, and believe it or not, Daniel Cormier, which is going back to 2018. So this is a guy who also is not very active, just like one to two fights a year. Okay. Yay. I mean, it's a free fight. I'll watch it. 
I think I feel like I'm being extra critical for a free fight. These next two, I'm just going to straight up admit to you, I have never even heard of Shara Magomedov and Ihor Poteria. So let's look them up. Sharo Magomedov. Oh, okay. So we're going to go to UFC stats here. This guy, I guess he's only fought once in the UFC and he fought Bruno Silva and he beat him during uh, with a decision. And his record is 12 and 0. This is an undefeated guy. He's six foot two. He's 185. And he's fighting Ehor Poteria. Who the fuck is that guy? All right. And Ehor is 20 and 5. He's had six fights in the UFC and he's lost half of them and he's won half of them. His first fight was against someone named Lukas Sudolowski. Then he lost to someone named Nikolai. Negu Marino knew. Then he won against Mauricio Rua. Then he lost to Carlos Olberg. Then he lost to Rodolfo Bellato. And then he won against Robert Breitschek. So I've never heard of any of those people. He's probably going to lose against this undefeated guy. Might have to put some money on that one. Probably have to put up like $30 to win 60 cents or something like that. You know how it goes. So yeah, I'm excited about this card. There's quite a few people on there that, <clears throat> you know, they got a lot of losses, just as many losses as they have wins, but it'll be fun to watch. Uh, UFC is now on ABC for this, so that'll be interesting. And the co-main and the main is awesome. So super excited to see Hamzat fight Whitaker. Super excited to see Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov. That'll be fun. So yeah, if you like the content, comment. None of you bastards are following me or subscribing to the channel. And that makes me sad. And I put a lot of work into this and I like hanging out with you guys. I love chatting with you in the comments, even when you're kind of mean to me. Um, I guess that just goes with the territory. Half of you are cool. The other half of you are kind of trolls, but I accept all of you for how you are. Let's go. I'll see you in the next video. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.